All right, hey, Shalom, Makiam. First and foremost, I had to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Raka Kodash, the honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And we are the Hebrew Israelites, which consists of the Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, Simul Indians, West Indians, and Haitians. In accordance with the Holy Scriptures, we're God chosen people. Shalom to all the beloved brethren out there, pushing this knowledge and sincerity and truth. Shalom to the few sisters and shalom to Israelite foreigners who are scattered abroad. And what you're looking at is a true depiction of the one you can call Jesus Christ, whose real name in the Hebrew is Yahweh Shai. All right. And what you're looking at is a true depiction of the one you can call God, the one you can call Jehovah, whose real name in the Hebrew is Yahweh. And what you, when you call upon the Most High and the Son, you must say Yahweh Bahashim. Yahweh Shah, Yahweh means he to be or he is. Bahashem means in the name, and Yahweh Shah means he delivers. Our Lord and Savior is coming back to deliver the elect out of the nation of Israel, putting the destruction of modern day Babylon, aka America. I want to start off by saying, Brakta Yahweh, Brakta Yahweh Shai, Brakta Yahweh, Brakta Yahweh Shai, and the water Yahweh by Yahweh Shai for another blessed day. The water Yahweh by Yahweh Shai for this opportunity. It's 100% truth. The body of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai for the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And the body of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai for all you beloved brethren out there pushing this knowledge and sincerity and truth, the 100% doctrine. All right, coming back at you with another lesson through the Holy Spirit. And um, pretty much, I'm um, going to start off with Job chapter 24, verse 14. It says, The murderer. Rising with the light, killeth the poor and needy, and in the night is as a thief. Who is this murderer? You know, you know, the ultimate murderer on this planet is Esau, because he was a murderer from the beginning. All right, a murderer from the beginning, dealing with Cain. <laughs> Put from I'm going through a little detox. I don't know why when you detox you get a little sick, but murderer from the beginning. Hold on for a second. All right. This is John chapter 8, verse 44. It says, Ye are of your father the devil, and the lust of your father he will do. He was a murderer from the beginning. Who was the first one to, com to, to commit murder? It was Cain. And abode not in the truth because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and a father of it. So, pretty much the man of sin, Esau. They are the murderers on this planet uh, through traffic, human trafficking, child pedophilia, and um, a bunch of heinous acts they've been doing throughout this earth to where these things are coming to the forefront now. Upon this uh, whole Je Jeffrey Epstein list coming out to the forefront, which has been out since COVID, you know, when CV19 was going on, a lot, a lot of... Uh, what you call some of your favorite celebrities' names on that list? Going to the Lee Oda Express and came to find out that was all set up by the elites of the society to compromise your top officials, your top, uh, uh, what you call it, hip hop stars, so on and so forth, man. Because in order to get down with the satanic Luciferian order, you have to be a very, very profane individual. So I found this video. Of course, we want to get down into it, man. And give you some insight. This say nothing new. The ancient Canaanites who dwelt in the land of Israel were doing the same thing. You understand what I'm saying? And now you got the Amalekites who took on these witchcraft, uh, these satanic practices. Doing the same thing 
today, the so-called Jews. Go after the children in SRA. Always go after the children in SRA and other. Always go after the children in SRA and other occult uh, practices over adults, for instance. Okay. Well, see, first of all, it's normal. Normal when you go to the Old Testament, Moloch and the Baals, they wanted the baby, they took the children. Um, explain to me by Satanist because because it's a higher level of blasphemy to God, against God. It's a... Uh, and for some reason, the demons love bringing that kind of harm. They, uh, to, you, we look at a child and automatically we're going to protect them, save them, guard them, whatever it takes. They look at a child, they eat it alive, they destroy it, they torture it. You got to remember that's their nature. And so, if they could show more of their nature to a defenseless child. They love that. That's why some rituals are called demon rebels or satanic rebels. The younger the child, here's exactly what dark undergrounders have said to me. The younger, the better. And we never kill them right away. We prolong the torture. Why? Because we have to raise the energies, the terror, the fear, and then little by little letting some blood out because blood is the, and all that torment, it's like, think in terms of rats and garbage. Smelly old garbage draws the rats. A ri- Always go after the children in SRA and other uh, cult practices over adults, for instance. Okay. Well, see, first of all, it's normal. Normal when you go to the Old Testament, Moloch and the Baals, they wanted the baby. They took the sh- right. So these these ancient, these customs are that they keep today go back to the old world, the old religion. You understand what I'm saying? These deities and these demons have been around for thousands of years. You understand? And the spiritual demon Satan got his demons underneath him. And that's how the so-called white man, the Amalekites, get their power. And upon their rulership, this is how they've been ruling for quite some time. That's why the, crypt, the scriptures clearly says, um, the time do not speed up. I don't want to butcher the scriptures. Matter of fact, let me get it. For the elect's sake. Matthew 24 and 22. And except those days should be shortened, there shall no flesh be saved. Saved. No flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. So that's why these things are going on. It is uh, reported estimate, estimately, okay, about 800,000 and plus children go missing out of the United States each, each year. And plus, you're dealing with UK and all different countries. But modern day Babylon, AKA, aka America, has the highest rate of that. Because this is how they harness their power, man. Through adrenochrome. You understand what I'm saying? These these motherfuckers are some cowards to prey on the weak. And to prey on our children. This is what we're dealing with, man. And another form of that, that's why I like with that whole situation. I don't know if you brothers seen that interview with that um UFC fighter, Sean Strickland. I hope he's an Israelite, man. Because he be saying some real stuff. He was cussing out that reporter about the LGBT XYZ community. Pretty much he called him a fucking punk. He said, you, you, you're a problem. You're a parasite. You're the enemy. To really believe that you want our children to go to school and change their sex. Is, he said, it's only two genders, man. So that's another form of it. Over-sexualizing our children and trying to change their genders. You know, and things of that nature, man. You understand? This is a very, 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 very serious ordeal we are in. And for you Jakes out there that's playing around, you scoffing, you coming up against the men of the Lord, who's telling you 100% truth. The Lord is going to, the Most High is going to, but he's going to put you in some drastic shit. And, and, and yo, man, you're going to bug out, man. It's not by it's not by coincidence. There ain't no such thing as coincidence. They found those underground tunnels, and they find it uh, 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 skeletons and bones down there, man. 
thousands and thousands of skeletons and bones. Of what? Of children. The footage is out there, man. And then we're on the verge of America going into a civil war. So all these things, it's, it's time for this place to get judged. It is time for you Edomites to go down, man. You all right? If, if they, the Lord, let's just say the Lord don't take this man out. It shall be no flesh to be saved. Life will not exist. This man is a fucking madman and his fucking woman, okay? And I, um, I was trying to look for this article. Brothers, uh, you know, took a picture, but I couldn't find an article. <laughs> Dealing with the World Economic Forum, it says 2024 is the first year of the New World Order. Do you know what the New World Order is going to, what, what they're trying to do in the New World Order, man? They're trying to eradicate the Israelites. They're trying to depopulate the earth, all right, to a, a, to, to a manageable size under 500 million, some, some crazy number like that, which, which the Lord is going to allow drastic things to happen, but the, the ultimate goal is to get rid of the Israelites. You Negroes, us Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, Simo Indians, West Indians, and Haitians. This is a very serious ordeal because it goes back to the birthright between Jacob and Esau. Okay? But the birthright went to who? Yaiqua. The Mosai put in his spirit to supplant Esau because you weren't fit for the birthright, which is the kingdom of heaven. We are in Esau's kingdom right now. Is is this 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 world superpower, uh, uh the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, European Union, and America was sitting upon the scarlet colored beast. And they get their power through Satanism. Okay? Murder, rape, all right, espionage. Covert operations, propaganda, child trafficking, human trafficking, organ harvesting. Because they need that blood. They need that flesh. Because the Mosai has deprived them that much. The Mosai said they are the children of my curse. They are the deviants, man. Okay? So going back to Job 24 and 14 says the murderer... Rises with the light, kill it the poor. The poor are the ones who, who are being taken advantage of. Our children, our parents, our brothers and sisters, and the needy. The scripture clearly says we shall go to the enemy for the want of all things, of all fucking things, man. You just you just live, you just renting to live. All right, you're renting to live if you can afford rent nowadays. You don't own anything here. Okay? And in the sight, I'm, I'm sorry, for, it says, and in the night is as a thief. The scripture says, a thief coming, but coming not, but to steal and kill and destroy. Who is that thief? Esau's that thief. And these things have been going on for quite some time. Um, explain to me by saying this because, because it's a higher level of blasphemy to God, against God. It's uh, And for some reason, the demons love bringing that kind of harm. They... To, you, we look at a child and automatically we're going to protect them, save them, guard them, whatever it takes. They look at a child, they eat it alive, they destroy it, they torture it. You got to remember that's their nature. And so if they could show more of their nature to a defenseless child, they love that. That's why some rituals are called demon revels or satanic revels. The younger the child, here's exactly what dark undergrounders have said to me the younger the better and we never kill them right away we prolong the torture why because we have to raise the energies the terror the fear and then little by little letting some blood out because blood is the and all that torment it's like think in terms of rats and garbage smelly old garbage draws the rats A right so i'm oh 
we'll try to find the extended version, but this is this is good enough for the uh for this lesson, man. All right, do you did you do you understand where the fuck you at, Jake? For those in the know, I'm not talking about you, brothers and sisters. You you you, you, you now everybody is a prophet. Everybody got a podcast, but you're not bringing the hundred percent real. You got you got you, you unlearned souls tripping about the twelve tribe chart, and you ain't done no fucking thorough research. A lot of you Jakes even leave your this fucking country and been nowhere. If the Lord will open your minds and, and, and you and, and you be able to go to South America at least, you could be like, yo, what the fuck? The cultures are similar, man. The music is similar. In Colombia and Brazil, Puerto Rico, we are those people. And we have been scattered throughout the other nations. And the scripture clearly says Ephraim is a cake not turned. So you have you have light skinned Jakes, you have dark skinned Jakes, you have Jakes looking like Esau, you have Jakes looking like the other nations. It's all about their spirit. But the Lord has to impute this this type of information unto you to open your mind. You understand what I'm saying? Like, giving all praise to Yahweh by Shimei Shai. This is all uh, Daniel chapter ten. Let me uh. Start at verse 4, not Daniel, Psalms chapter 10. So lock your brothers. <laughs> kind of, you know, my nose kind of stuff. You've been detoxing this stuff. Cutting back on the, on, the, on the drink and all that good stuff, man. You know, all praise y'all by Shemia was shy. It's Psalms chapter 10, verse 4. It says, the wicked, through the pride of his continence, will not seek after God. God is not in all his thoughts. See, you, you, you people out there calling upon... Jesus the Christ, but when you Google Jesus the Christ, what images come up? Even Dame Dash, even though he went off on the name, he was close enough than a lot of you Israelite leaders. You understand what I'm saying? The, the, the so-called white man is power struck. They don't believe in the Most High. They believe in their, in their witches and their warlocks and demon revelry, man. His ways are always grievous. Thy judgments are far above, out of his sight. As for all his enemies, he puffeth at them. See, see this, this situation right here with Israel and America against these other nations. Nobody's really feeling this whole ordeal, man. America is the only country that can really back up Israel. Israel don't have a defense, military uh, uh, um, army like that. They're a bunch of, they're, they're, they're fragile as hell, man. They're the Amalekites. So through their military might throughout the world, that's what he's been doing. So all these things are backfiring now. He has said in his heart, I shall not be, sorry, he, he had said in his heart, I shall not be moved. For I shall never be in adversity. Bull effing shit. <laughs> there is a higher power. Yahweh Bashim Shai says, in one moment, all these things shall come upon thee. And these things are happening. All types of videos about 2024, you know, the things that's going on, things that's getting ready to happen. What's going on with Florida and Texas at the border? Biden making his threats against those two states. You got the uh the sheriffs in Florida telling their citizens to arm themselves. Because some, some drastic is getting ready to happen. All types of adversities and atrocities getting ready to take place. Judgment. His mouth is full of cursing and deceit and fraud. Under his tongue is mischief and vanity. He sit it in the lurking places of the villages in the secret places. Do he murder the innocent? So you're dealing with you out here, see you Jakes, man, you, you're out here being complacent, not dealing with brothers in the faith, with two-thirds of our people. You don't understand where, where you really at, man. <clears throat> you understand what I'm saying? Therefore, you're dealing with human trafficking, you get kidnapped, the women get kidnapped, children get kidnapped, and they, they're going to they're gonna get bolder and bolder to where, you know, the most sides, you know, going to have to intervene for brothers, man. Our brothers might have to, you know, go to some drastic things to protect 
they, they, they lock they're, they're themselves and their wives, man. Because that, that kidnapping, a kidnapping, human trafficking thing is very real. All right, and also you, you could equate this to to the police force. You know, sitting in the lurking places, watching for you to get, so they could you know put it, give you a ticket and all that, and it goes deeper than that. Like I mentioned earlier, his eyes are privily set against the poor. His eyes are privily set against the poor. Who is that? Who is this book written for? The Israelites. This whole system is set up to destroy us. Okay. All types of rules are in place to keep us at bay. You understand? He lied and wait secretly as a lion in his den. He lied and wait to catch the poor. He do it, catch the poor, and when he draw him, I'm sorry, he do it, catch the poor when he draw him into his net. It's a trap. Especially when you get locked up. You don't know. They got misdemeanor charges they put on you, felonies they can put on you, all types of things, man, in this society. You could even be locked up for the def if a motherfucker intrude in your house, and you might go over killing this motherfucker. You could get locked up for that, man. You see, it's, it's a lot of things, man. So the Lord has to be truly, has to be with you in these days, man. And we pray and hope Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is with us, man. All right, he crouches and humbles himself that the poor may fall by his strong ones. And you, you, you can equate this to what? A lot of you Jakes that actually believed in Biden. You know, believe in this democratic system. Believe in this, 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 this these uh, elected officials, man. They'll, 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 <laughs> the scripture clearly says his mouth is full of cursing and deceit and fraud in verse 7. But now you, you guys are waking up. Especially Jake in Chicago. <clears throat> All right. He say he crouches and humbles himself that the poor may fall by his strong ones. He has said in his heart, God had forgotten. He hid his face. He will never see it. Negative, man. Arise, O Lord. Yahweh Oh God, lift up thy hand. Forget not the humble. Wherefore do the wicked contemn it, God? He said in his heart, Thou will not require it. Thou hast seen it, for thou hast beholdest mischief and spite to require it with thy hand. The poor committed himself unto thee. Thou art the helper of the fatherless. This is where our help comes from, man. Through the prayer and the supplications unto the Yahweh by Shimei Shai. <laughs> And the Lord is going to, the Lord is going to take care of us. Brothers, get ready to be tested on different levels, man. And it's okay. You're going to be tested, man. Whatever the Lord puts you in, in these situations, I speak for myself, you're going to be able to handle it, man. Even if you got to put a motherfucker down, because it's going to be chaos out here. <coughs> okay? Straight up. Verse 15, break down the arm of the wicked and the evil man. Seek out his wickedness. <coughs> Excuse me. Seek out of his wickedness till thou find none. The Lord is the king forever and ever. The heathen are perish out of his hand. And these things are getting ready to happen, man, when the Mosai arises and shakes the earth. <coughs> When Yahweh shall return, okay, to trample down Esau, verse 17, the Lord, it said, Lord, thou hast heard the desire of the humble. Thou will prepare their heart. Thou will cause thy hair to hear, ear to hear. The Lord hearing us, man. We do only shows, going out there, doing what we got to do to judge the fallenness. And the oppressed, you are heavily oppressed here, man, on all levels. You got to, like the like guy Orlando Brown, you got to pray for fucking grapes, you son of a bitch, what God gave us for free? Yeah, man. 
This motherfucker took all the damn fruit off the trees and put it in a supermarket and gave them this GMOs, man. And the most I set these things up to eat freely. All right? So we have the oppressed here, man. So the only way out is what we do in the straight gate through the sheepfold, the brotherhood. Oh, we part of that number, man. Because this is pure hell. Scripture clearly says, in much knowledge is much grief. Oh, this is how many scriptures go? It is, in much knowledge is much grief. And he that increases knowledge increases sorrow, man. Because you'll try, if you, you, you know, you might be into a chick and you guys, you know, formulate a family, would not start living. You try to tell these mother, you like, yo, what the f So it's all about the brotherhood, man. It's all about the elect. But people are seeing now what the fuck is going on, man. You see? And a lot of you are going to get caught up caught up out there. And we're going to like, hey, hey, the door is going to be shut like the times of Noah, man. It says, to judge the fallen and the oppressed, that the man of the earth may no more oppress. So the man of the earth right now is Esau. He's oppressing everybody, man. But he's coming to an end. Because all these things are being exposed. So the things they practice, in, they, they got it from the ancient Canaanites. <laughs> you know? They got it from the ancient Canaanites. I don't want to, oh, if you go to the Wisdom of Solomon 12, in the GNT, the sins of the Canaanites, man. Who was dwelling in our land before? That's why the Mosai set up Joshua to clear out that land. Put the tribes in there. It says, you hated the people who live, you know, this is the GNT version, but I just want bring to the, bring the point home. It says, you hated the people who live in your holy land long ago because they did horrible things. They practiced magic and conducted unholy worship. And this, isn't that the same thing going on again today? They killed children without mercy and ate the flesh and the blood of human beings. Now, look, now here it is. I always go after the children in SRA and other uh, cult practices over adults, for instance. Okay. Well, see, first of all, it's normal. Normal when you go to the Old Testament, Moloch and the Baals, they wanted to the bathe. They took the children. You know what's crazy? Israelites were given over to these deities. They were, they were doing the same thing. All right? You wicked-ass jakes. You were sacrificing your children Onto these guys. Now you got Jake's out here who made the society doing the same thing. Um, explain to me by Satanist because because it's a higher level of blasphemy to God, against God. It's uh, and for some reason the demons love bringing that kind of harm. They uh, to, you, we look at a child and automatically we're going to protect them, save them, guard them, whatever it takes. They look at a child, they'd eat it alive, they destroy it, they torture it. Now remember, that's their nature. They look at a child, they'd eat it alive, they destroy it, they torture it. Now remember, that's their nature. See that, man? Nothing new need the sun. They killed children without mercy and ate the flesh and blood of human beings. They were initiated into secret rituals. In which parents murdered their own defenseless children. It, it was your will for our ancestors to destroy these people. So that the land which you consider the most precious of all lands will be a suitable home for your people. So what do you think is going to happen again? This time it's going to be with fire. The Lord is clearing out the whole land of Israel right now with you fucking heathens, man. So it's going to be a suitable place. For the elect to inherit, man. Okay, for the kingdom of heaven to be set up. So, okay. So yeah, man, giving all praises to y'all by Shimi I was shy. The Lord willing, this is very thought provoking for, for, for you Jakes out there, man. You sisters out there. Shalom.